we don't need a stock market that liquid. What we're getting is wretched excess and danger for the country. And everybody loves it because it's like a bunch of people get drunk at a party. They're, they're having so much fun getting drunk that they don't think about the consequences. You shameless cloner, want to track portfolios of famous value investors like Warren Buffett, see their buys and sells, current and historical holdings? Just visit valueinvesting.guru. It is valueinvesting.guru. Link in the description. Crypto is a $2 trillion asset class. Are you willing to admit you missed something? Well, I certainly didn't invest in crypto. <laughs> I'm proud of the fact I've avoided it. It's like, you know, some venereal disease or something. I just regard it as beneath contempt. Some people think it's modernity and they welcome a currency that's so useful in extortions and kidnappings and so on and so on, tax evasion. And of course the envy, everybody has to create his own new currency. And I think that's crazy too. So I wish it had been banned immediately. And I admire the Chinese for banning it. Perhaps this is the appropriate follow-up then. This comes from Micah Mysick, who asks, Mr. Munger, you've been warning of the evil, evils of cryptocurrency in the past. How do you feel about the Federal Reserve preparing to launch a central bank digital currency? Do you think that this will be beneficial or harmful to the strength and resilience of our markets? No, no, the Federal Reserve could have a currency if they want one. That, that would be just a, we've got a digital currency already. It's called a bank account. The banks are all integrated with the Federal Reserve System. We already have a digital currency. This is another question from Tom Seymour, who sent in several that were pretty good. Two years ago at this meeting, you said, I think there are lots of troubles coming. There's too much wretched excess. Since that meeting, we have seen something like 860 SPACs, IPOs like Rivian and Robinhood, and the GameStop phenomenon. I can't imagine you've changed your mind. I wonder what your favorite story of wretched excess is from the last year. Well, certainly the great short squeeze in GameStop was wretched excess. Certainly the Bitcoin thing is wretched excess. I would argue that venture capital is throwing too much money too fast in the and there's a considerable wretched excess in venture capital and other forms of private equity. We have a stock market, which some people use like a gambling parlor. And the transactions of the people who love the gambling parlor aspect of the business and those who want to make long-term investments to take care of their old age and so forth. I mean, you muddle that in one market and it goes out of control because the, the stock market becomes an ideal gambling parlor activity. I don't think that ought to have been allowed either. If I were the dictator of the world, I would have some kind of a tax on short-term gains that made the stock market very much less liquid and, and drove out this, this marriage of gambling parlor and legitimate capital development of the country. It's not a good marriage, and I think we need a divorce. How would a divorce work? Well, you'd have to have some kind of a rule that, is, that just made stocks way less liquid. We have all the real estate we want, all the shopping centers and auto agencies and so forth, without having a perfect liquid market. We, could, we would have a stock market that was way less liquid. When I was young, we had a stock market that was way, one, way less liquid, way fewer shares. When I was at the Harvard Law School, we seldom traded a million shares in a day. Now we trade billions. We don't need a stock market that liquid. What we're getting is wretched excess and danger for the country. And everybody loves it because it's like a bunch of people get drunk at a party. They're, they're having so much fun getting drunk that they don't think about the consequences. We don't need this wretched excess. It has bad and consequences. You can argue that the, the wretched excesses of the 20s gave us the Great Depression and the Great Depression gave us Hitler. This is serious stuff, you, we, we, we should, but it's awfully hard. A lot of people like a, 
a drunken brawl, and and so far those are the people that are winning. And a lot of people are making money out of our brawl.